All right, hi there, my name is Justin, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to go from a schematic diagram in ADS, um, converting that to a layout, and then creating a set of Gerber files that can be used to take your design and send it to production at uh, major PCD manufacturers. So <clears throat> here we have a directional coupler that has been made in ADS. Oops, zoomed out there a little bit. Um, so first thing we're gonna do is go to layout, generate slash update layout, and then click OK. Okay, so now what we have here is a um, micro strip uh, level uh, directional coupler layout. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to zoom out slightly here. The first thing we want to do is create our outline. So we're going to go to this button right here, and we're going to select layer right here, and we're going to go to bond for boundary. And I'm going to take that, I'm going to start at a kind of, you know, okay, let's start at this dot right here. So I'm going to move over and I'm going to go here. And I'm watching this DX value because that's showing me how large this is. So I'm going to go to 700. This is in mils, so that would be 0.7 inches. And I want to kind of go um, to a round number, it's easy. Um, something that's not too huge, but also large enough where there's some play between my element and the edges. I'll click there. Let's see, I'll watch my dy this time. Okay, let's go to, okay, 0.4. Then I'll come back this way. 700 again. And this should be 0.4. Okay, now, oops. Didn't click it there correctly. So let me redo this real quick. So take our dot and then click OK. We can here, we'll do six hundred. So this right here under property, you'll see layer um, bond, which these are kind of, uh, you could pick whatever you wanted. It's just that there's some here that kind of make more sense So bond for boundary. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna take my cursor here and I'm gonna select all of the microstrip elements here and make sure they're all highlighted. And I'm gonna change this layer under, here we go, instance name layer. I'm gonna change this one to conductor. And when I get off here, you'll see it's kind of changed colors a little bit here. And if I were to click on, okay, let's see if I can get this. I think this is a little bit bigger. We'll change here, we'll go here actually. We're gonna change both of these to conductor. Okay. So now any of these will say, the name layer is conductor. So we're going to jump screens here real quick. Oops. Here we are. Jump screens here real quick. So this is the manufacturer that I've used. Um, and so they require a total of eight Gerber files in your zip. There's a drill file, which will show any holes that you're placing through the PCB. Top copper will be your top layer. That will be whatever the actual micro strip elements are that you're using in your design. Bottom copper will be your ground plane. Top solder mask will be the solder mask on the top side. Bottom, same thing, but for the bottom side. Your top silk screen layer, your bottom silk screen layer, and your outline. So we've completed the outline and top copper at the moment. So we'll go back to our design here. So we know here that the size of this um, outline right here was 100, 200, 300, or sorry, these are 550 in here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 600 mils this way, and 100, 200, 300. Okay, so this makes it. Um, you know, it's helpful to know those numbers because what we're going to do next is 
our bottom copper layer. So we're going to insert a rectangle. And um, I find it easier to put it somewhere else and then move it. But you can kind of do it however you want to do it. So width is easy. We'll just match these up. And then it's 300 down. So I'm watching my delta y because that's showing me my change. OK, fix it by 300. Click. <clears throat> I'll click Escape. So this one, we'll go to Layer. We'll change this one to Conductor 2. It'll be our ground. And you can see they will change colors as you do this. Um, so I'm going to drag this up here. Let's see. And I want to make sure it's within the boundaries here of my outline. OK, cool. So I've got that layer. Um, next thing I'll do is make my uh, silk screens for top and bottom. So I'm going to do the exact same thing where I'm going to, uh, oops, the zoom here is very touchy. Okay. So let's go ahead and click there. We'll bring it all the way across here, and then we'll go to 300. And I'm watching this actually in the bottom right of the screen. You'll be able to see I'm the same measurement, 600 by minus 300. Okay. Um, and what I'm going to do on this one to save some time is I'm just going to copy and paste this. OK, awesome. So I'm going to call. And again, these are kind of uh, whatever you choose is somewhat irrelevant here. It's just easier for me to keep track based on what I'm choosing. So I'm going to use dielectric 1 dielectric as my reference to the top solder mask. Okay. And then I'll call this one dielectric two, my bottom solder mask. I'm just gonna place it. Oops, drop it there. Awesome. And let me see if I can uh, I'm going to try to zoom in slowly here. I'll just try to be careful with the button. OK. So I see this one's a little bit here, a um, little bit off, so I'm going to move it. I just don't want anything sticking past my outline layer, which looks good now. OK. So um, I'll do my top and bottom silk screening. So here, I'll just end up putting, um, we'll call this DC1. And it's going to come out very small. So I'm going to increase the font size. Let's pick something pretty substantial. Oops, that's way too big. OK. And it's kind of a guess and check. Um, you'll see kind of what works and what doesn't. OK, that looks good. And I'm going to call this one text. And then I'm going to move this guy somewhere out of the way. Now I need to come up with a um, bottom silk screen. And, and one of the key components here is that um, you have to have all eight of these files for it to work. If you don't have that, it won't work. Um, so now let me choose the symbol, a text again. And I'm just going to put the number one here. And that's an easy one to choose for this bottom layer because you may not have something you want or need on the bottom. I would just put the number one, um, the date, anything that you think. And I'll choose this as a symbol. Again, I'll make it a little bit bigger. OK. And I'll just drag it somewhere. Doesn't matter, out of the way. OK. So now our layers that we have, we have the uh, top copper, which is our micro strip. We have our bottom copper, which is the ground plane. We have two um, solder mask layers, which is good. And outline the bottom silk screen, the top silk screen. All we're missing is a drill file. So um, what you can do, this is an option if you don't have a need for a drill hole or a via hole. Uh, it's just choose a spot kind of arbitrarily on the board away from the micro strip. Place this, and we'll click hole. So at this point, we should have all the files of the Gerbers that we're looking for. So what we'll do is we'll go to export, Gerber slash drill, 
and we'll click more options. <clears throat> so these settings that are available right here are all the correct settings for what you're going to want. We'll go to layers here and we're going to want to make sure all of these are selected and as we went over earlier there should be eight because there's eight that are required for the uh, production from the site that I referenced before. There's also a drill file, so hole is going to show up twice. It's going to show up here and here. Go ahead and leave it selected on both counts, and what we'll do is we'll delete the one that's unnecessary. So I'm going to click OK. And then we'll, oh, we'll export it. OK, awesome. Now I'm going to go to my file explorer. Go to the folder where I had it saved. Manufacturing. So we, I was using cell 2. Gerber. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do to avoid any confusion, I'm going to delete this file right here, the whole.gerber. The reason I'm deleting that is because right above it is the whole.drill, which is what I want. So now I'm going to double check. I should have eight files. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, this is good. So what I'm going to have to do now is I'm going to reference this page and I need to change the extensions on each file to match this. And it can be any of the ones. You don't have to necessarily pick one column and go all the way down. It's just for each item, it needs to be one of the following. So drill is already drill. So that one's okay. So I'm going to go to the next one. Top copper should be GTL, Gerber top layer. So that's my conductor. I'm going to go here, click rename, and I'll change the extension to .GTL. And when I do this, it's going to ask me, am I sure I want to do this? Yes. Okay. We're going to go down. Bottom layer, GBL. So I'll do this. Dielectric was my top solder mask, which looks like is GTS. Let me change that. Bottom solder mask will be GBS or Gerber bottom solder mask. All that drill is already good. So Symbol was my bottom silk screen, so I'll go with the GBO. Text was my top silk screen, GTO, Gerber Top. And then the last one, which is actually the top here, Bond, that was my outline. Is going to be a dot oln. So I'll go ahead and change that to oln. Okay, so now I have a full set of Gerbers that will be able to be put into production. So I'll back out here. I'm going to take this Gerber and I'm going to zip it. So let me. Now I have a file. So now I can go to a website such as this one. And what they're going to ask me for is, uh, first of all, length and width. So the length was 0.6 and the width was 0.3. I want one board. Silver Rojas finish is fine. It's a two layer board. There's just a top and bottom copper layer. And here is where I'd upload my zip file. And once I upload the zip file, I'm able to move ahead and place the order. Um, again, they have some specifications here of the parameters of the board. They do use FR4, which is uh, probably what you're planning on using in your design uh, criteria. Um, but yeah, it, it gives you all the specs here that are going to be used. So once you do that, you have a fully ready to produce set of Gerber files uh, from ADS to the Gerbers to production. So uh, thank you very much.